we confirmed some of the known prognostic factors. So patients with pelvic Ewing have a poorer local control and poorer overall survival. The same is the case for patients with primary metastases with large tumors defined as a volume of about uh, over 200 milliliters at the uh, time of diagnosis. Um, a poor response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Interestingly, what we also saw, what uh, is not so well known until now, was that uh, modifications of treatment. We had a lot of patients who um, didn't proceed to finish the protocol as planned, either due to toxicity or because the patients were simply fed up with the treatment. They didn't want to uh, uh, be in the hospital for uh, on and off for a year. And these patients had a worse local control and a worse overall survival probability. And we also saw that um, um, some surgical factors also had an influence. For instance, patients with presenting with a pathological fracture of the involved bone um, had a poorer overall survival, but not a worse local control. So that would suggest that um, the pathological fracture is a marker for an aggressive disease. Then we had. Um, but w patients with Ewing sarcoma usually have, uh, with a bone Ewing sarcoma, have a large uh, soft tissue uh, component. And the question is, after neoadjuvant treatment, is this soft tissue component um, away, uh, or is it still there? And the patients who still had a soft tissue infiltration of the tumor uh, after neoadjuvant chemotherapy had a significantly worse prognosis, both in terms of local control and in terms of uh, overall survival compared to patients uh, who where their soft tissue extension was completely uh, uh, away.